Yo, what's up, people? Today, Ubisoft dropped the new trailer for their story portion for their new Star Wars game. I'm, I don't know, he, Ubisoft been kind of hit or miss a lot lately. So I'm kind of on the fence about this. But they also, they have, like I said, they have the story trailer and they actually have a uh, developer. So they explain the breakdown of it a little bit. So I think I'm gonna check out both of them and get my opinion on it. All right, so let's get into this. Here we go. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Pikes, Crimson Dawn, Huts. He looks like a guy off a of Game of Thrones. For the underworld. I do. The Empire controls every corner of the galaxy, but they're distracted by a rebellion that won't quit. It's an opportunity to make millions. Hey, Vess, the underworld's mm. favorite new scoundrel. Fuck. We meet at last. What do you want? Zarek Besh. <laughs> Joan new, Solo. Rich and lethal. You crossed their boss, Slero, and now he wants you gone. Rob his fortune and buy your freedom. This job, it's a death wish. Yeah, hey, Solo. I'm in. Huh. Die by your reputation. You want to survive? Know the players. You're new to this world. What's your problem? Come back when you're not. Daba, right? Look, don't try anything. I got a whole crew surrounding the. Okay, we're skipping that part. All right, she is dressed like for about Han as long Solo. as I can remember. It's the... just been me and Nix. Doing what we have to to survive. This job is my one shot at freedom. But if we're gonna pull this off, we need the right crew and the right ship. Yes. Hang on. I hire you because you are one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. She's more connected than you let on, Slero. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. The Outer Rim is a dangerous place. Everyone is fighting for their piece of the galaxy. Here, John all Solo. I want is to live free. So I'm gonna risk it all. Outlaws pre-order available now. All right. That doesn't actually make me that excited for this game, but you know. She looked like Han Solo. Again, it's like every other Ubisoft game. They're way like at least they got at least one guy who looks competent, which is great. The story is kind of like eh, but Let's see what the developers have to say about this. That story is kind of like, but that's kind of how Ubisoft stories genuinely are. So. Hello and welcome to the Star Wars Outlaws story trailer developer breakdown. Today I'm going to give you more solo. information about what you saw in the new story trailer, including details about new characters and criminal syndicates. All right. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations in the galaxy. Slero is one of the galaxy's elite, living in Canto Bight and leading his own burgeoning and highly lethal criminal syndicate, Zarek Besh. Slero organized this gathering of syndicates as a demonstration of that power and to show that his organization, Zarek Besh, should not be crossed. It's a golden age for the underworld. In the golden age of crime syndicates, the syndicates in Star Wars Outlaws are spread across the Outer Rim, and their impact can be felt everywhere. We have previously shared that the Pike Syndicate, the Hutt Cartel, and the Ashiga Clan, which is a new syndicate created in close collaboration between Massive Entertainment and Lucasfilm Games, are in the game. Today, we got to reveal that the elegant and sophisticated, 
yet highly dangerous syndicate, Crimson Dawn, will also be a key player in the underworld of Star Wars Outlaws. Kay Vess. Across the Outer Rim, Kay will build her rep- All right, as far as the syndicates go, like, I'm, a, I'm an avid book guy. I like the books. And there's a vast history of this, these syndicates in the novels. Why they didn't use any of those, I don't know. So this seems to be a lot of this new Star Wars stuff. I'm trying not, I'm trying my very best to not be black pilled on Star Wars, but the Lucasfilm like story group makes that very difficult. Reputation and form tense and ever changing alliances with each of these syndicates, which will offer varying gameplay and narrative opportunities depending on your actions. Whether providing you access to some of the most lucrative jobs in the galaxy or hunting you down if you've double crossed them. What do you want? Zarek Besh. You crossed their boss, Sliro, and now he wants you gone. Jalen is somewhat of a mentor for Kay. He's a fellow scoundrel that has a lot of experience in the underworld, and he sees potential in her. Rob his fortune, and buy your freedom. Jalen offers Kay her one shot at ultimate freedom to pull off one of the greatest heists the galaxy has ever seen. As a member of the galaxy's elite, Sliro's mansion is heavily fortified by multiple levels of security and his own personal syndicate, Zarek Besh. After a failed job, Sliro doesn't take kindly to Kay, placing a bounty on her head and sending one of the galaxy's best bounty hunters, Vale, to hunt her down. This so basically, Han Solo. This is Han Solo's story. Replace this dude who's dressed like a Game of Thrones character with Jabba the Hunt. Replace who, the uh, other chick with Boba, the, Boba Fett. There you go. They just redid Han Solo's story and decided to put two females in it. Awesome. Job, it's a death wish. Yeah, and they had the nerve to put actual Han Solo in the game too. The legendary Hut Cartel represent one of the criminal syndicates that Kay will encounter during her journey across the Outer Rim. Kay and Nyx will come face to face with their leader Jabba in his iconic throne room on Tatooine. But the Hut presence will be felt across other locations and planets too, where you will meet some new faces of the Hut cartel. So you'll need to be careful as your reputation will follow you. Out here you live and die by your reputation. These syndicates have real power in the underworld in each of the locations Kay and Nyx will visit on their journey. Their impact and influence will be felt wherever you go. From the vendors you interact with, the jobs you take on, the support you receive, and even the access you have to certain territories. This job is my one shot at freedom. Attempting to rob Slero's mansion alone would be impossible. Even if Kay and Nyx got in, they wouldn't be getting out. In order to pull off the job, Kay and Nyx will need to travel across the Outer Rim to find skilled outlaws and convince them to join her in pulling off the greatest heist the galaxy has ever seen. There's a lot of fun and exciting characters that you'll meet on your journey, some of whom you see here. Hang on. I hire you because you are one of the best hunters in the Outer Rim. Raised in the underworld, Vale has had a toe in every syndicate and has learned from each of them. Because of her experience, Vale is a formidable adversary for Kay. She can fight, pilot, hunt, smuggle, anything she needs to do in order to pull off a job and claim her bounty. Bess is mixed up in something bigger. Kay grew up alone, fighting for scraps in the workers' district of Canto Bight, relying on her skills as a thief and Nyx to pull off small cons to get by. Kay has always felt that the galaxy is rigged against people like her, and has always dreamt of a life beyond Canto, where she does not answer to anyone. This job is her opportunity to make her dream a reality, and to finally be truly free. So basically, yeah, this is Han Solo, uh, or Joan Solo, or Joanna Solo, however you want to say this. So they took Han Solo's story, made it, made made him into a female, stuck all the new Star Wars stuff in it. Canto Bite, I don't know, it might have existed in the novels. I just I don't recall it. So I would much rather play a Han Solo story. When he's trying to do a heist, I and I go to 
not necessarily not necessarily uh Corolla or anything like that, but another f- more familiar location in Star Wars. Not, will I try this at some point? Probably when it goes on sale. But so far, the gameplay looks kind of eh. the story is basically Han Solo's story, so I'm not really that interested in it. And like I said before, Ubisoft has been very hit or miss, and it a lot of misses lately in any of their games. But that's no, that's just how I feel. So please like, share, and subscribe, and all that. I will put a link to both of these trailers in the description. Later.